Hey guys, so in this video we're just going to write a simple C program to get started. So first I'm going to do hashtag uh, include stdo.h that's standard input output and it's a .h file and it's just a library. Um, we're going to create our main function so we do that by int saying what it's going to return main uh, left parentheses and my um, IDE has already put in the right parentheses for us. And then we're going to need a left and right bracket. And my IDE did that for me as well. And we have to make sure that we are returning a value, a integer value, because we put int here, we must return an int. Okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to write a simple program, just the hello world program. So we're going to use the function called printf, and then put left parentheses and uh, right parentheses. Put your quotations in there, left and right. And I'm going to type hello, comma, world, exclamation point. And I'm going to put a semicolon here. And because I'm on Windows, I want my program to halt or to pause. So I say system uh, pause with a semicolon at the end here. And this should pause my, uh, my program. So I'm going to put in comments here. And you, to do a comment, you do slash slash, and I'm going to put in the comment that this function pauses using the Windows command. And the Windows command is pause. All right, I'm going to put a little comment here as well uh, next to the print statement. So again, to do comments, you could do slash slash. So now it's a comment. And the comment I want to write is uh, print hello world. And then here we are just returning an integer value. So let's go ahead and run this. Here you must compile and run it uh, and save it as a .c file and I'm going to call this the hello world program and save it and then you can see here it says hello world and we press any key to continue that's from the uh, system pause here but I'm gonna press enter uh, like any there we go uh, you can barely see the hello world so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do another print statement so print F and I'm gonna do what's called a backslash and then put it in the in the backslash in stands for uh, next line so now we run this program again we see that we print hello world and then we go to the next line uh, get that back up there for you we go to the next line and then we do system pause which is this press any key to continue okay so uh, let's do uh, let's print something else okay so hello world I'm gonna print F here, um, uh, actually, we're going to go down. We're going to do this after this print next line. And I'm going to print F. I enjoy learning how to program. And we're gonna run this, see how it looks. Hello world, exclamation point. I enjoy learning how to program, exclamation point. 
But again, we didn't put that uh, backslash in, so it's still in the same line as this system pause. So what we can do is we could do the same thing where we take this um, backslash in print statement and I can place it here and we can run it and we can see that it goes to the next line or I cannot put that there and I can put a backslash in right here right within the same print statement and you can see that we get the same result and so I'm going to do that for both of these so it's just to make it make the code look a little better and a little bit more readable and go ahead and start it there you can see it looks just the same with um, without those extra two print statements okay so I think I uh, pretty much have ran that into the ground um, thank you guys and I'm gonna, I plan on putting up more videos on C programming and I'll see you guys on the next video bye bye